before we, we do the neurodiet, let me just recap what sexual assault has as an impact in, in people's lives. For one, sexual assault, especially at a young age, powerfully impacts your self-esteem. And the person who is sexually assaulted generally feels that they have done something wrong and they deserve to, that they are somehow a bad person and deserve to be punished. And that is feeling a desire to be punished that can be carried through an entire lifetime into self, self mutilation and all sorts of practices that in your life and decision making they lead to basically destructive habits and tendencies. Another thing that happens, and this has been proven by a clinical trial, and they discovered that people that have been through sexual abuse, their self image is less, they're uncomfortable, they're more uncomfortable in relationships, they're less comfortable with their, their body and looking at their body. They see themselves as being somehow flawed because that whole image of being sexually abused in their, the mind of a child or as you're older is that's carried through into adult or through into your mid-adulthood life. The impact is on self-esteem your self-confidence, your decision-making, all of those things are affected by sexual abuse. And the highest level of it is traumatic. There can be flashback memories. And most of the time, people are running from the emotion. They're running from that pain, running from that memory, trying to fight it in every way they can to run. Now, as of now, you're not going to run anymore. We're going to face this head on. So neuro, let me explain neurodiving in case you're new to the process. Neurodiving is very simple. It's simply holding your breath, focusing on a memory, letting the pain build, and as that pain builds, you face it with its full intensity and power. You let it sweep over your body, but you don't just let it sweep. You talk to it. You, just, you fight it. You struggle with it. You argue with it. You interact with that pain. And when you breathe, there's this tremendous feeling of relaxation comes over you. It's it's like like a wave that hits you, like, like 12 tranquilizers hitting at once. And when that comes, you want to repackage that memory of that abuse. Because what happens is every time we remember something and store it, it's changed. We can alter a memory just by remembering it and storing it in our mind. Every time we're depressed, remember something and put it back, it'll get worse. If we're in a positive state and we remember that and put it back, that memory will get less painful. You, this technique is a me method of hacking your brain, hacking the neurology of your brain. It's to take certain feelings and intensities that are over here and then route those intensities into, into this memory, this emotion. So this is going to be the, the simple process. We're going to take 10 breaths. We're going to start relaxed for the 10 breaths. And as we get further and further in, we're going to speed up those breaths and then we're just going to hold. We're just going to sit in the seat and just hold it. Sometimes you can do a stress position, but for this, I recommend we're just going to sit and focus on the memory. No, I think I need to move back a little bit. So. Let me let me go through this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hands up here because I like doing this and just sort of stretch in my back when I'm holding. But for it's up to you if you want to try that. So with that, are you ready? Remember, freedom has a price, but this is a very small price to pay for freedom. And once you're finished, you'll find that memory just distancing itself, fading into the distance. And when you go back to that memory, you'll have a hard time feeling any pain. It'll be just nothing. It'll just be a non-memory. Now, I believe that one neurodive, this one neurodive, and it's only going to take us a few minutes, can eliminate that, that pain permanently. But if there is any more that comes back or anything surrounding that memory, then then we're going to go back and do it again. So if you're ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
piece. Let it go. Say you forgive them. This is no longer part of your life. This memory and the pain of this memory will fade into oblivion forever. You've changed it permanently. It won't come back. You know, for some of you, if you took it to the maximum pain threshold, which you probably did, right now you're gonna be just feeling like rubber. Your entire body is just falling down this river and you can barely move. Just go with it. This could last a few hours. And the reason this is happening is the pain of that memory is connected to your entire nervous system, to your endocrine system, to every single hormone in your body. That pain level is constantly being driven by that memory subconsciously. And a lot of the reasons you do things is because of that deep pain. And now, this is gone. The emotion disappears. Just drift. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of respect. You're a beautiful, incredible human being. And you deserve to be free. You deserve all the blessings of life. All the joys and the happiness and the moments. Just knew who died.